I'm taking on a new challenge in a class that I begin teaching in January, late January of 2021. And that is incorporating a misinformation framework that has the acronym of SIFT, which I'll talk about in a little while. But I've been reluctant to do this for such a long time. I had the opportunity to interview Mike Caulfield, who is the one who created the SIFT framework back. Uh, I'll link to it in the in the notes for this for this video. But I had a chance to talk to him for my teaching in higher ed podcast some years ago. And I think I just got so intimidated by his expertise and by feeling ill-equipped that I really allowed that to prevent me from being as good of an educator as I know that I want to be. And really, I think back to my class, this is probably in February of 2020, and I was doing an exercise, which I do plan on doing for my 2021 class which was having students bring in a story into class with a sticky note, a business news ethics story, something that was coming out in the news having to do with ethics and bring it in. And we'd put them all on sticky notes in the back of the class. And then I'd sort of group ones together that were about similar topics. And it was such a rich conversation that really made the class engaging. We had amazing conversations, but what also was happening, you might have noticed with the timing I'm speaking of, as we started to roll through the term, the semester, more and more of those sticky notes were about the coronavirus. And of course, I was always sure to have it linked back to the learning outcomes for the class, but you didn't have to go too far till you would find, you know, things related to business ethics. And I just started seeing time after time again, where students were finding their new sources in places that they were getting some false information. And I really felt convicted after that and thought, get over yourself, get over your insecurity. The only way for us to get better at this stuff is to practice and to learn and to fail. And to fail, in my case, uh, I potentially failing in some really public ways. And so I've just decided it's worth it to me to expose myself to that difficult exposure of just that, no, I don't know some of this stuff and I'm going to make mistakes. And I know that going into there, but I also know if I'm willing to put myself out there like this, that I will get better and I'll be a better educator for it and be able to better equip our students for the kind of world that we live in today. So I'm excited to, sh well, that's not true. <laughs> excited. I am excited at the possibility on the other end of this for being better and learning and growing in a real raw and messy kind of way. And something else that is going to be important for me is just realizing that, no, I'm not going to be an expert at all of the things that I might attempt to use the SIFT framework on. And I have to be willing to stop at good enough and, and I have to in, in a lot, both a macro way and a micro way. But this is this is really important. It's really important that we don't leave our students with just this idea of, you know, none of it's true and all of it. You know, I, I shouldn't pay attention to any of it because I can't trust anyone. You know, I, I, I we have to do better than that. And. We'll see. We'll see. Um, thank you for watching this video and here we go.